Okay, so <coughs> the Dolby Atmos on the uh, the remix on this uh, Sony Pictures uh, Glory Glory Hallelujah. Ah, uh, it is it is dreadful. It is. I mean, the whole remix of the whole thing, um, part of it of the remix has been done years ago and what they've been doing here is they're using some uh what was done years ago um because if you listen to the early early d uh, glory if you got it on dvd first 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 dvd pressing so dolby digital 5.1 but the surrounds the uh, they sound kind of stereo like in the um, on the DVD and um, this film would have only been released in 70mm 6 track where Dolby format 42 so that would be left centre right mono surround sub bass or they call it baby boom we'll call it sub bass SW LFE.1 whatever um, it's the same more or less um, but I would say the sound mix that I'm listening to on the DVD it probably maybe be close to the 70 mil. I never saw this in 70 mil, so oh look, the over it's around just suddenly come on to make you go Ooh, ah, wow. And that's only on height number one and height number three. If I mute, mute the overheads, because um, i got the uh, height number two going through the uh, Dolby CP55 in the kitchen uh, with the EQ. Um, and I'm also using a bit of the EQ on the uh, SDDS here. Um, just, to <laughs> just to get the speakers a little bit close. They're not 100% close, because the, um, the EQ on the SDDS is... A, not really that great. Um, clinically, if if everything was spot on, speaker had, speaker to speaker has been tested thoroughly uh, because every speaker is not going to be the same. There there are going to be slight differences, and there you know you do a frequency sweep and then you look at the uh, the transparency uh, with the overlay, and you like say, oh, blimey. This, this is a little bit out, a little bit odd, isn't it? You know, we're going to have to make some corrections here. Um, note, note it, and then we'll make make that uh, correction. Then we'll run the test again and again and again to make sure it holds, sort of thing. You know, so the pressures are going to be uh, the same. Um, anyway, the the atmos mix is on there is terrible. If I go to way, say like. Um, get near to the end of the film after the battle of Fort Wagner most of the time the overhead surrounds are really not in use and oh wow a little bit of there because we're at Fort Wagner um, you know so you hear all these whistle sounds and would cannonballs actually make that sound overhead? I thought, I thought you know, they'd fire it from, you know, because he's looking and the fault would be back that way, behind me. Because he's looking at the fault over this way. Yeah? Now the fault's that way, because he's turning around. You see, when you turn around, you know, move your head around, or you're, you know, you're standing around, you move around, you listen to a sound playing, where you turn is where you're here where you crouch down is where you're here perspective and dimensionality x y z 3d and upside down inside out back to front turn around oh gosh i think a lot of the remix in here has been a total shambles um I think Sony should be ashamed of what they've done here. You know, you take Academy Award Best Achievement in 
sound all recorded and mixed uh, all recorded release mixed and in Dolby Stereo SR 6 track yeah and they turned it into a shambles with the Blu-ray years ago because okay let's get, let's get up to a scene right where it makes no logical sense whatsoever even and we're talking about the, the, the surround channels the regular surrounds um, oh it's nice listening to the improvements but really they could have kept this like 100% too you know and that it's like what bloody lazy re-record mixing this was bloody lazy I'm going to have to turn the fader up a bit here the digital fader right those sounds of seagull you hear there they're on height number one now if you listen to the DVD uh, you'd hear those seagulls on the sides around so T, will you stop scratching the carpet up? Okay, now back to the seagulls again. Good reference point in the film, the seagulls. The seagulls are the key to glory. Um, I wouldn't advise anyone playing their, you know, uh, fader at level, or up at that bloody high level, 16 plus. <laughs> you're, you're any height or 18 plus. 18 dB, bloody hell. If any high dynamic levels come along, they'll just uh, shut the AVR down. Okay, I'll just fade that down a little bit. Okay, you had those seagulls on height number one. Like, um, wow, that was really exciting. Okay, um, I'm going to turn on the sides around. Okay. Go back to the scene. When you look at the geometry, Right, you hear the ocean, yeah, camera comes down, but the ocean's up there. Why the fuck is the wave oceans around me? That makes no sense. That's like me standing there, yeah, and there's bloody water on dry sand. How's that possible? Now, I, 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 I tell, I'm asking the mixer, the remixer, Whoever did this years ago, right, and, you know, uh, and whoever the uh, other ones are, or maybe the same, cheaply, using this version again, yeah, because that's the same as the Blu-ray. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear, that makes no bloody sounding sense, that makes no logical sense, that's like me, hey, hey, I'm standing up, I'm near, I know, I, I did a... a a mixing college course once and I did ocean waves and seagulls and all that shit but this makes no fucking sense at all for Christ's sakes that's like you know I'm standing up there the ocean's there and why's the bloody you know it's like you got to re-plug re-plug re the surrounds and put them somewhere else they don't sound like they belong there that sound doesn't belong there You get the, it's, it's these wannabes, you know, that you get them on the forum sites and, you know, they want to be a, a, little, uh, a film mixer and all this sort of buck here now. Whoever did this shouldn't even be near a mixing console, for Christ's sakes. That is a bloody sounding, holy bloody mess, for Christ's sakes. Crying out loud. And the seagulls, they should be on the surrounds, but no, they they repositioned it, haven't they? Um, those seagulls will be, well, look at that, look how many of them. They'll be, they'll be back here as well, and, you know, floating around, and, you know, you know, you get these wannabes re-recording mixes, they're not looking at geometry, ge ge the, the geography of the uh, the film. Uh, where the camera moves is where the sound is and um, you know you know that's our point of view we're looking out at the ocean there but why the fuck's this ocean it's not even anywhere near it's up front for crying out loud oh that really does piss me off 
that that really does ruin the entire bloody film for Christ's sakes all right let's turn it off turn the back surrounds on and there's nothing playing because there's nothing on the back surrounds the back surrounds will be here and there there's nothing there at the moment a little bit on LCR yeah okay so um mm. yeah yeah be apart from the um, picture that looks like digital um a uh, fake grain yeah it looks sharp there's no more difference there than, the, than what I would see on the Blu-ray. It is not a big deal. It is. I have been avoiding to buy this film on 4K for at least oh a month or so, uh, a month and a bit, and it is absolute sheer disappointment. Might like get a oh it looks nice yeah, but the sound outweighs the picture and the sound is a, uh, is a total holy mess because it's just one image yeah and, you get, and if it was 70 mil you got left center right surround and sub base so you got basically there are five elements playing even though it's six you know you know because sub base is playing over left center right center and it's the decoder switches and places it uh, on the sub bass channels um, the subwoofers or uh, it, it can play it through the uh, if there's got five screen behind you know and they're big and powerful speakers yeah and do can do the dog's bollocks they'll probably play through left center right center um, depending on how many they got but I don't know how many would would play it in that sort of fashion even if it was today how many would play it in that fashion I don't know but anyway that's basically the, the amount of channels you would get one two three four point one if it were the original but even the DVD it sounds like it's been altered slightly um, because you got the Sony pictures and you got that well, I I got a point in the finger at Brian this year at Sony Pictures. He's got a person. He's got a. He's got an. He's got an. He's got bloody issues. He has. He's got a bloody issues that everything should be bloody near remixed, near filled. For the bloody home, for Christ's sakes, and it sounds like a holy bloody mess. He's got a crusade, and frankly, I I think his policies for near field suck. Because that defeats the purpose of having a flashback of the film. Doesn't matter what bloody size environment it's playing in, whether it's in in a inside a fucking cinema or out fucking doors. If it was playing outdoors, look how much air and that's got the that sound system's got to be doing a hell of a lot more to push that amount of air. It's got to be pushing kilowatts, hundreds, fucking, you know, it's a ridiculous amount. And it's still going to sound crap. Because our ears are very clever. And we're going to hear all this background fucking noise outdoors. Oh. And then, yeah. Oh, dear. I prefer proper, 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 unmolested theatrical nexus. This 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 glory is, has been molested. It's been molested. Really badly molested, and it, you know, it really pisses me off because I I, I I like the story. It's sad. It's you know, it's got a message, but really. Does it sink in and does it sink in the people's heads? No, really, do we need all these guns and shit still? Does does this shit need to still be going on in other countries? Really? No. I mean... In this day and age, even in that day and age, blimmin' out, not necessary. 
what's wrong with these people? Thousands and thousands, hundreds of thousands killed over over the over the course of that war. Crazy. But, you know, the picture is no more different than the Blu-ray. Uh, it's, like, it's like looking at um, Earthquake um, on Blu-ray, the first edition, and it, 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 it's got a fake grain over it. it. Whatever that is, that what you think, you know, you look, at, look up close to the flat screen, you can see it all moving, yeah? If you think that's grain, you've been had. I can tell it's bullshit. It's some sort of digital algorithm bullshit transparency that they're plastering over the image. Because if you were to if you were to have uh, anything that was recorded off air on TV and good, you know, providing you got a good signal and you're not going to get too much crap, yeah, you'd have a really good stable image, yeah. You're going to see you're going to see film grain. Either way. Even, even, especially when it's panned and scanned, and they zoom in close on the um, the scope. If it's widescreen flat, you're still going to see, you're still going to see, you're still going to see picture uh, film grain moving around, little dirt and artifacts, uh, and you pinch yourself and you go, "Wow, that's film I'm looking at. Film, and look at that color. Wow." And then you look at and you think, no, this is digital manipulated and it's bullshit. It's, um, it... I have to say, officially, this is going to be the, the fucking last 4K disc of a, an old film, of an old film, right? that I'm gonna fucking buy. I don't care if they fucking do Star Wars. Disney can do it with fucking Mary Sue with a fucking lightsaber vibrator stuffed up her pussy. I ain't fucking interested. This is officially now gonna be the last fucking 4K of, a, of old films that I'm gonna fucking touch with a barge bar. I'm not gonna touch any more of these fucking shit. I'm not going to touch Godzilla with a barge pole, even even though I watched it in high definition on Amazon Prime. It's better than the DVD, okay. The DVD, if I still look at the DVD, it's still okay, it's still great. But I think what I'm going to be hearing with what they're, look mum, what I'm putting on the overhead surrounds um, is going to be very very highly predictable and I'm, I've had a I've, I'm sick and fucking tired of it I've had a fucking enough of it Dolby Atmos basically the format has been molested with it's been you know they're taking the piss all these re-recording mixes mostly probably Sony pictures these Formosa group or whatever they want to call themselves um Basically, you're getting a raw. Basically, you are getting a raw fucking deal. Wow, I'm hearing the music on the overheads. Wow, I could have fucking heard that fucking UCI back in 1989. More thing, the more thing, the more things change, the more they stay the same. Overhead surrounds have been on the fucking ceiling for fucking decades. Well, UCI at Tower Park. <laughs> All ten screens, EV speakers, electro voice, CP Dolby CP55 in the projection room with SA with Dolby SA5 spectral recording, SA SR cards, Victoria 5 projector. Yeah, everything on the cake platter, or we could some, well, sometimes the cinema could enter interlock it so you go from one projector to another and you know there'll be a few second delay or if you go from one projector down a long corridor from screen five to screen six you get a couple of minute del uh, delay 
Mm. No. This isn't fucking film grain that I'm seeing. I've seen I think this is probably maybe the third or whatever fucking Blu-ray uh, or DVD uh, sorry, 4K bullshit what I've fucking seen now and I've had a fucking enough. I've had enough of this bullshit. Because it's fucking fake fucking grain. I know what to fucking look for. I couldn't look, see hardly any big fucking scratch marks and shit, you know. And, and it's weird when switching to the other, because uh, I did another rant video, and it was weird switching to the other, uh, what you call the picture-in-picture -picture commentary. And it was like a totally different film print I was looking at. It's like there are two different film prints on here, or maybe there's only one, and there's doing some with the something's going on with the player, and it's doing some sort of um, digital um, manipulation with some Alva ribbon, or there are two different versions, and even though it says 4K output and it was saying it's playing 4K. That might have been false. It might have been saying, um, like, it was high definition, like 1080p or whatever. I don't know. I don't really give a shit. Because I know, I know what I'm looking at here, and it, I don't like being bullshitted. Picture might look all sharp, and it's the same as the fucking Blu ray. Christ sakes. The 4K of this. Is definitely don't buy it. anyway that's enough of the 